So I just got back from the little Walmart store that is over by the studio. I was talking about it in boot camp today and I thought I would show you guys a little bit of the yum yums that I found and maybe give you a couple little hints and tips um, on some clean eating real quick. Um, I know I say real quick, I'll, I'll try to make it snappy so it's not an 11 minute video. But anyways, so here got some squash and I will add that to um, kind of like a fun little stir fry, nothing fancy with some asparagus as well. I'm always utilizing um, asparagus and, uh, and or spinach. And then I also have my favorite kale. And then uh, I have just kind of the backup bag of broccoli always in the freezer. Um, in case I run out of my fresh veggies, I know I always have these um, handy little bro uh, broccoli florets handy. I just grab a handful of them, super easy. I throw them in a bowl, cover it with a little bit of saran wrap, um, whatever seasonings I want to put on it, and nuke it for a couple minutes, and it's ready to go. Not the best tasting in terms of freshness, but it does the job um, when I'm hungry. So, But anyways, back to over here. So lemons, I will use... Um, Quite often, a lot of times in my tea, um, in my dishes, I'll slice one up and um, just kind of squeeze it all over the chicken if it's a little dry or whatever I'm eating. Um, here I've just got some whole spinach leaves here. Use those every single day. Um, I make my son's protein shakes and I grab literally a fistful of the spinach, stick it in there, blend it up with a protein, a scoop of protein. It's delish. Um, you guys always see me post on Facebook about my hot sauce. This is my most favorite hot sauce ever. Some batches tend to be ridiculously hotter than others. I don't know why that is, but it's my favorite. You can find it in the little um, Asian section there at the grocery store usually. And, um, you know, it's got five calories and... So, you know, it's got some sodium in there, but it's low in carbs, low in sugars, so it's not terribly bad. It just spices things up without using, um, like, heavy sauces and creams that a lot of us are smothering all over our foods uh, to give them taste. So this just adds a little zest. Uh, and then I'm a total sucker for uh, veggies in, like, these tiny little packages. So I picked these up. They're little mini cucumbers. And um, I will use those in like a spinach salad with some uh, chicken breast sliced up in there and lemon and sometimes some hot sauce. And then these, like I said, sucker for little packages. Uh, sweet mini peppers, super duper yummy. Um, and then I always grab Truvia. Just it tastes better to me than um, some of the off brands. That is one thing that I will uh, spend a few more cents on just because it, it does have a better taste. It doesn't have a yucky like aftertaste to it. And then um, some mushrooms. Those are always fun little filler to add to um, your salads or your you know little stir fries that I tend to make a lot of. Um, then over here, ground chicken breasts. This is one of my favorites in terms of a lean uh, source of protein. One thing you want to be very particular with is when you go to the grocery store is that you're looking for ground chicken breast. A lot of my girls are like, yeah, you know, I made those chicken muffins and, you know, they're not really clear as to the packaging when you purchase. There is a difference. There's ground chicken and then there's ground chicken breast and it'll say on there, you know, 93% lean. Um, it's much lower in fat and it's just a much cleaner source of protein. It doesn't have, um, you know, the chicken thigh and some of the greasier parts of the chicken uh, blended in there. So always look for ground chicken breast. They um, also have lean or extra lean uh, turkey breast. And that's something else that you'd want to look for too. Uh, I know you guys always see me talk about kale. Super great. Um, tons of nutrition. Great for you. It's super duper yummy. And I love these bags. Walmart has them, which I was stoked about because they're hard to find. Some grocery stores don't have them. But um, it makes it that much easier for those of us that are in a hurry and don't want to wait and chop and do things like that. So you can literally sprinkle these out on uh, a cookie sheet with some parchment paper and uh, just lightly spritz them with some uh, spray. I use like the nonstick pan spray and then add some cracked salt, uh, some cracked pepper and some salt on there or um, different seasonings. And then you have your kale chips, super duper yummy. And then last but not least, 
berries, 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 berries. Skip the fruit ladies. It'll save you all that time in, in the, you know, working off the calories. Definitely choose fruit over those ice cream bars for sure. Um, and here's a novel idea. Instead of packing fruit stacks, snacks for your kids, this is what I started doing with my youngest, pack them berries. It's fruit, and if they are hungry, they will eat it. Trust me. Don't tell them it's in there. They might be a little shocked. They might be starving when they come home. Maybe they didn't eat their snack, but after a few times when their kids are eating, uh, their friends are eating, and they're sitting there at snack time with nothing, they might go for those berries and then actually realize they like them. So my six-year-old loves them. He calls these hairy berries because the little raspberries have the little um, fur on them, and then strawberries. And then back to that broccoli. So hope that helped there is a little tip in my shopping basket today and hope you guys have a good shopping trip and make good choices talk to you guys soon and see you in some of you ladies in boot camp